Hello everyone, myself Pirebad and welcome to our YouTube channel Helpful Techniques. Uh, so guys, this video is going to very much, uh, you know, I mean, uh, this video is going to be very quick because uh, currently I don't have the setup to make a video and uh, because I am traveling right now, I am outside up top town. And uh, so this video is very much, I, I mean, this is a kind of like urgent video. And uh, this video is going to be uh, regarding the Cognizant Gen C hiring and uh, and uh, my own personal experience as a technical recruiter or technical panel at uh, cognizant agency so i felt that many things actually you need to know uh, while uh, you are going to attend the interview so and uh, this all the things actually you need to take care uh, so that you'll be able to crack the interviews without you know like facing any difficulties or uh, without having any issues and uh, so first of all uh, if you have not applied for the cognizant agency hiring yet then uh, in the previous video i discussed about the hiring process and all everything so the link will be there in the description of this video uh, so that you can go through the link and apply for the agency hiring and uh, just to tell you about the deadline and all and for the programmer analyst i mean uh, trainee analyst trainee the date is uh, 31st of may and uh, for the programmer analysts training i mean for b b tech M -E -M tech candidates it is uh, 4th or 5th of june so you can go uh, and uh, you can watch the video right and uh, about the second thing actually like uh, uh, like uh, i have been taking the mock interviews of the candidates as well like this is has to nothing to do with my organization so I am kind of like voluntarily like taking the interviews of the candidates just to make them understand what all key areas uh, they need to work on so that they will be able to know their weakness and they can work further so that during the real interview they will be able to crack the interviews or they will be able to give their 100% you know performance I mean 100, uh, give their 100% and then they will be able to crack the interviews. So again I am saying this is nothing to do with my organization and all so this is a kind of like uh, like kind of like volunteer kind of thing so now let's discuss about the key points and uh, so that it will be clear to everything i'll be telling uh, you about few important points so first of all you need to be like kind of uh, like uh, punctual i mean to say like you need to join the interview at the scheduled time so if we, a candidate is not joining within like uh, 10 minutes of the interview uh, time i mean to say uh, let's say your interview starts says uh, it 9 30 a.m morning let's say and if the candidate is not able to join uh, till 9 40 uh, will be waiting that means up to 10 minutes will be waiting so if the candidate is not joining then it will be considered as a no so so in case you are facing any technical issues or uh, you are not able to join then you need to reach out to the point of contact or the hr or any other person who is uh, in contact with you from cognizant and tell them that you are facing the issue so that they will be able to reschedule or help you so that you'll be able to join the interview and you will be able to attend the interview and the second thing actually i'll be telling you that like whenever you are attending the interview and all uh, like in order to shortlist one candidate the candidate should uh, be like uh, able to successfully execute at least like executing at least one uh, question i mean query so whenever you are writing any code so if in the compiler and uh, at least one code should be executed successfully else the system will not allow us to like shortlist one candidate so in case you are uh, 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 so, so let's say uh, you have given two questions right out of two at least one question will be executed successfully i mean to say one code should be executed successfully without giving any error the output should be displayed in the you know output section it could be any programming language java c python uh, etc anything and uh, so coming to the point so sometimes what happens first impression is the last impression so if the recruiter has given you only one question the interview is going to be like uh, completed so at that point of time you can like uh, proactively ask to the recruiter to give you another question uh, so that you can show them that you are capable of solving the problems what happens like if the interviewer has personally felt that you are not good enough or like you are not, not able to compile one query and all i mean uh, the problem or let's say code so if he has already rejected because uh, as i told you earlier if he, uh, at least one code is not executing successfully that means that person will not be able to hire and uh, i mean uh, shortlist you and that person also knows that yeah i have, like i'll not be able to shortlist this person that means 
he or she has already decided not to hire you or not to shortlist you right so at that point of time like you can proactively ask them to give you another question i mean to say give you another chance so that you'll be able to like do well if like you are good at coding right so you can ask for another chance so if like by you know like uh, if you have good luck or let's say if you are good at coding if you are able to do it then you can change the you know like uh recruiters mind or recruiters decision right so these are like proactively you can do the things and the third point actually i wanted to discuss over here is it should be always flexible towards the locations i mean to say like uh, they will be asking you whether you are okay with uh any location based on the requirement and all so you should be always uh, saying yes or to that like if you don't have any kind of constraints uh related to the location and the fourth point i wanted to discuss over here is a uh, period i mean duration so they'll be asking you whether you'll be able to join within like let's say 10 days or 15 days of time or uh, they'll be giving you one uh, date right so in case you are having any issues then you can highlight else i would suggest you should be always saying yes if you don't have any problem because being a fresher they always want you to join as soon as possible to the company right so that's why i'll be suggesting you just to you should be trying to minimize the notice period as much as possible so and then you can tell them and according to your availability and all they'll be deciding whether they should be going forward with your uh, profile or not so these are the few important things actually i just wanted to tell you because before the interview the hrs are never going to tell you about the process and all and the criteria yeah. so now i'll be telling you about the don'ts that means what all things actually you not be uh, doing during the interview so first of all i have al always seen that due to the lack lack of the you know practice whenever the recruiter is asking you any question whether it would be like subjective or the a uh, technical or objective or let's say coding question so we immediately jump to uh, jump to solve the questions right i mean uh, so you should be taking enough time to just to think let's say 30 seconds or 15 seconds or 20 seconds etc and frame the answer first then come up with the like answer i mean uh, come up with the answer and in your mind then tell the answer right so i have seen that most of the time we start immediately start speaking and we stop in between and let uh, we keep on thinking like that what will be the answer and what will be the next sentence sentence and all right so first of all you need to frame it practice it in your mind that this will be my answer and then you know like do the like i mean give the answer it shouldn't be rapid fire kind of thing because it is not a kind of like uh, any kind of like uh, quote or something right and uh, second thing actually i will be telling uh, uh, or i'll be suggesting not to do that i have seen most of the candidates all they have highlighted the projects that are not relevant to them or the projects they have co copied from someone else i mean available in the market or they have like purchased so sometimes like candidates like or have like straight forwardly said uh, that like this was done by someone else and i was there to you know like do the reporting and all so you shouldn't be telling anything like this because it creates a very kind of like bad impression because we all know that uh, during the semester it uh, has been given us enough time to prepare the project and all so uh, you should be showing, uh, showing us that these many things actually you have done or this this is your contribution whether it's a, like group project or the single or the individual project it should be like kind of like extra like innovative ideas if you have given or like let's say like nowadays everything is available in the market so if you have done something which is not there in the market already you should be always highlighting so and it always creates a you know kind of good impression so i'll be suggesting you just practice about the project if you have not done any project which is like if you have not done any project by your own or let's say you purchased from someone else then don't mention those projects the mention some it's like it it could be like small projects and all but mention only mention the project which is relevant to your current technology and also which never say that i have purchased from someone else or someone uh, else in my team has built i was just for the attendance and all so never say like this okay and uh, and thirdly i'll be saying uh, that never be impatient so if you are not able to answer to a particular question don't be impatient because next question if you are be being little bit impatient or if you are losing the hope that i i am not able to answer to this particular question the the recruiter will re be rejecting me and all never think like that because this is not a real exam uh, let's say out of 100 you need to score 100 if i am not able to answer the this question in the next question you may you may be able to you know answer to the recruiter right the recruiter never expect that you should be answering the questions uh, like uh, 100 out of 100 right so it is not like that so it shouldn't be uh, losing your hope 
always like give your give your best if you are not able to answer to a particular question no issues you can jump to the next question or you can ask them please skip this question no problem and uh, so these are the like points i just wanted to discuss i mean you should be you shouldn't be doing uh, during the interview because it creates a very very bad impressions so now we'll be discussing what all do's you need to do uh, while attending the interview yeah so we have already discussed about the don'ts so now we'll be discussing about the do's what all things actually you will be doing uh, during the interview so first of all you need to be uh, well prepared before attending the interviews well prepared in the sense but we all know that during the interview the basic or let's say general questions will be asked like uh, tell something about yourself and also uh, tell me about the recent project that you have mentioned in the resume and all and also about your achievements and all right so being a fresher this kind of questions will be expecting i mean uh, whatever you have mentioned in the resume the same kind of thing will be asked uh i mean to say theoretically okay uh, you need to explain so if you like uh, you need to be well prepared before attending the interview you need to practice uh, always uh, let's say five to six times just practice and you you can ask your friends or the family members or any one else just to take your interview uh, while explaining and all else like i am here to help you as a uh, uh, through the help of mock interviews so just uh, be uh, i mean uh, just uh, get well prepared okay and and secondly i'll be telling uh, that whenever uh, you need to mention the relevant projects like this is very much important because as a fresher you don't have enough things actually just to showcase you don't have the real time experience and all right so whatever they will be asking from your uh, last achievements and also last project so whatever achievements you have uh, done or any kind of like extra kind of curricular activities you have uh you have done or any kind of like projects you have done just mention in the resume because everyone nowadays is uh, doing uh, kind of pg uh, programs or attending pg programs at doing the certifications and also attending the seminars webinar etc right but what else what extra thing you have done or uh, if you have done anything which is uh, very much creative or to fix any kind of problem in your real life or real time situation or scenario so you can mention all these things all these things uh, in your resume if you don't have uh, i mean you if you don't have done any kind of such things it's fine but you should be ready with your explanation which is rela with related to i mean with relevant to your projects and all and also uh, whenever like uh, you are explaining the things i mean if you are trying to solve any code and all if you uh, the recruiter has given you one program question right so uh, in, apart from writing the code and all you just need to tell him or her the logic as well because they be ask you what is the logic behind and you need to explain them each and every line so not the like programmatically or technically you need to explain them the logically how the logic works and all so you need to practice all these things because technically we all know that uh, someone can just practice all these things finding the uh, i mean uh, finding the factorial of a number reversing the number and all anyone can practice because the length of the code is not that much right but the logic should be clear and you need to make them understand that this is the flow and it should be like uh, it should always try to pass uh all test cases uh, i mean to say all possible test cases and uh, another thing actually i will be telling you that never uh, never be impatient i mean to say stay patient and also uh, at last you can ask the recruiter uh, about the feedback in which areas you can like uh, work well so that uh, or let's say practice uh, like the things or what is them and also show them that you are a very good uh, quick learner and also you are very good at you know kind of like problem solving and so all these kind of you know capabilities you need to showcase them so these are like few things actually i just wanted to discuss with you so if you have any doubt or any query related to gen c or any other like interviews and all just let me know in the comment section below and also we are having our own you know platform where we are training the giving the training to the candidates and all uh, related to the various kind of programming languages and all so if you if you need our help and also if you need with the placement assistance or the guidance we are always there to help you or to, to train you so the link and all everything is there in the description of this video just go through it and uh, reach out to us in case you have any doubt so all the best with your interview guys and um, uh, hopefully like uh, we'll be receiving the offer letter soon those who are already shortlisted 